Hello, everyone, and thank you once again for tuning in to the Real News Talk Show. My topic is about the Katie Nail Shop shooting. Uh, my thing is that um, today I saw where two sisters were arrested. I think one of them called and turned herself in because uh, one of them had left the phone. I think it was a shooter that had left her cell phone at the salon. Um, and so she did turn herself in. She should not have went back. Once she paid for the service, she should have continued on. But her sister was still in there arguing with the man. And when she went and got her weapon, she went back in the place. And I think the man pushed her. She shouldn't have shot the man. The man should not have, sh have pushed her. So that's a complicated situation. But you don't shoot someone just because you have a weapon. But in that case, if a man touches a woman, you never know what she might do. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but what I'm saying is he was wrong for pushing her and she definitely was wrong for shooting him. But you can't say which wrong is better than the other because nowadays it's called self-defense, especially if a man or a woman put their hands on a man or a man put his hands on a woman. Uh, the thing of it is, is that um, I have been a victim of the nail salon. Really, I'm not taking up for anybody, but I've been a victim of the nail salon to where I would go in and I'll say, oh, I just want to feel. And then they'll go, well, do you want the um, uh, that new name? It's a new one they have. Um, do you want that one because it lasts longer, this and that and that and this? And I'm like, no, I just came in for a feel. I've had in, I've had cases where they would actually do a many services that I didn't even ask for. And when I got my bill, I was like, oh my God. But guess what? I had to pay it. I just never went back. So my thing with these nail salons is you should post your prices. Don't throw prices. Don't throw services on people because you never know how people may snap. And that's what happened in that situation. They were angry because uh, they thought it was one price and it was another, which it has happened to me and many of my friends. And, uh, you know, we, we frequent the nail shops because we're African-Americans and there are not many or any nail salons that we know of. So we frequent all the Asian shops. And in fact, my girlfriend and I, we had went to a wig shop and she was looking for a wig. And the man followed us, the Asian guy, all around the place like we were like dogs, man. It was horrific. We're professional women, you know. We have everything it takes to buy whatever we want to buy. And to be disrespected, humiliated, harassed, as if we couldn't pay for it, it just gave us the creeps. But we did not shoot him. I mean, he had an attitude as if he wanted to jump my girlfriend. He had an attitude because she was looking at us. Don't touch this. Don't touch that. Well, how are you going to find out what you want? Don't touch this. Don't like we were dogs. And she was like, let's get out of here because this man is crazy. He even ran out in the front telling people they couldn't park in front of his building when there was no signs. It was other businesses around there. So my thing to the nail salons, if you're watching this video, Put your prices on the wall in black and white. Don't raise your prices on people when they sit in your chair. You're taking advantage of people like you have done me and many people that I know. I'm not taking up for the girl because you don't shoot anyone. But if he pushed her, he touched her. People fuss every day. But don't nobody shoot nobody and don't nobody push nobody. They get away. Because anytime you get into those type of confrontations, you never know. I'm just happy that the man did not die. And with people pack, packing weapons now, I mean, you don't take advantage of when it comes to people hard earned money. So in this situation, when the judge sees the case, he's going to say, did you put your hands on the woman? No matter if you argued about it or whatever, was the prices correct? 
I mean, they're going to get into detail about what actually happened. And thank God he made it and he lived. And this will be a wake up call for all nail salons to not gouge with prices. Please don't. Because I know many people, many, if they did a television show today or tomorrow, they can say, oh, they charged me for this and I didn't tell them. They cut down my nails. I've had cases where they even cut down my nails when I didn't tell them to and charged me for it. And I'm like, I didn't tell you to cut my nails. You know, I'm like, <laughs> where's this extra charge coming from? I mean, and then they want, you want solar nail? No, I didn't tell you I want solar nail. I said I wanted a basic feel. B-A-S-I-C. So when you mistreat people and you're gouging for money, you never know what could happen. It's too dangerous to do that to people. So all of the nail shops all over the world, if you're listening to this video, please post your prices, stick to your prices, and stop gouging people because it's not worth your life. You don't know who's packing a weapon. Like the girl, she went outside, she got a weapon, she came back in. And if her sister would have left instead of arguing with the man, that would have never happened. Her sister should have said, oh no, don't do that, don't do that. Let's just call 911. The man should have called 911. He didn't have any right to put his hands on that lady. He did not have a right to put his hands on that woman at all. Because so many women have been abused and they just, you know, she could have been in a situation where she's been in a relationship in the past and could have had where a man have abused her. You never know how people tick. I'm not condoning it because, you know, I'm afraid of weapons. And we have to love one another and stop all this shooting and killing and hurting people. But in this situation, it's a complicated situation where he actually put his hands on the lady and possibly gouge with the prices, allegedly, because it has happened to me and many people that I know. So I'm wondering what's going to come out of this situation. I know they arrested two sisters today, both charged $75,000 over this man. He could have started out being wrong and in the end they were wrong because the girl actually shot him. Thank God he lived. And thank God he probably will tell the other people, don't do what I did. Don't charge these people all these high prices because they didn't ask for it. So I'm going to end my show with that. And um, I hope well for um, the man because he has to heal from this process. And my thing is that the girls, like I said, the sister should have said, let's walk away and never come back. Because that's what happened at the wig shop. When we went there, we just never went back. I mean, he was running to the door telling people, you can't park in front of my place and this and that and that. And it's like just wild, really wild and mistreating people. And people were paying their money. So the thing of it is, is that if they charge you more money, just pay it like I did never went back never went back because when you go into a nail salon you ask for a service you didn't ask for all this other stuff and you get a big bill that can annoy anybody but it doesn't give you the right to shoot anybody but it didn't give him the right to put his hands on the lady call 911 and he would not have been shot he would not have been shot matter of fact i would have talked nice to the people and told them well I'm sorry, that's just the way the prices were. Because you have to do that because nowadays you don't never know the mindset of another individual. Everybody's packing weapons. I would have said, ma'am, I'm sorry, but that was our prices. I know I probably should have told you that we went up, but somehow I didn't. And maybe the next time I can give you a discount on something. But to just take people money Give them this big, big bill for all this stuff you didn't ask for and push you. My God, Jesus, my God. And these young people are not playing. <laughs> I mean, 
I'm not condoning it. I think it's wrong. And that's why on my video, I click not for children because I think these were young ladies too. But these young people, they don't think like us mature people. Uh, we would have thought first and possibly that sister, she might be young as well. She should have said, come on, let's go. Don't worry about it. Let's go. But when that sister went to the car and came back and saw him fussing with her sister and then he pushed her. All he had to say was, I'm calling the cops. And they would have left. Because the cops would have, the cops were two doors down. Because on the news, I saw where there was a gentleman and he called, he went and got the cops. So they were right there in the vicinity. All they had to do was call 911 and that man would not have been shot. Well, thank God he did not die and that they um, will not be charged with murder. And it's more coming out with this case. Uh, my heart goes out to the man and his family, and I hope he gets well. And also, I feel sorry for the girl that shot him because they're young people and that man pushed her, but she shouldn't have never shot him because now they have her for attempted murder. And that's really, it's a sad situation. So as you can see, those are my feelings and I'm not taking sides with anybody. I don't condone anybody shooting anybody and I definitely don't condone, condone a man putting his hands on a woman. It's two sides to every story and so let's continue to uh, wait on more information on this complicated situation. I will be coming back from the Real News Talk Show so please click like, share, and subscribe. I am the Real News Talk Show. Talk to you later. Bye.